Well, this is a really interesting race. Uh, it's a heat of the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup. That's for intermediate men's quads, and it's between Clydesdale Amateur Rowing Club and Loch Lomond Rowing Club. Yes, it is the romantic club up there on the bonnie banks of Loch Lomond. They're on the far side of your picture, on the left-hand side now, and on this near side is Union Nautique de Bruxelles from Belgium. I don't quite know why these four guys are rowing for Belgium, because basically, most of them have been rowing in the Harvard lightweight rowing team for this season. I think that maybe one or two of them have rowed for uh, Union Nautique de Bruxelles, but it is the crew from uh, Belgium, aka Harvard lightweight, so if you're watching this in the States, um, <laughs> I guess you'll be pleased, or if you're watching it in, in Belgium, it's, it's a very nice little club, Cathy. It looks a bit like Molsey Boat Club, black and white wood, and, and really nice there, nestling uh, in the suburbs of Brussels. But it's a pretty devastating start from the Harvard lightweight slash Union Nautique de Bruxelles. Uh, really smart out, and they've got clear water already over the Scottish crew. Um, so, you know, really asking some questions very, very early on. Looking very cohesive there. We can see that lovely, yeah, the rhythm's good. There's good synchronicity, there's parallel oars, it's smart, the rhythm feels sharp, and those guys are gonna feel good because they've got a length at least of clear water already, and that always helps steady the nerves on the first day of Henley. They've got the youngsters in the stern of that uh, uh, boat there. Oh, actually, I'm looking at the Union de Bruxelles. They've got the youngsters in the stern of that, Carl Sutherland and, and Ben Lundell, uh, 18 and 19 years of age. That was the boat I was looking at. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking Harvard and Union Brussels. I've got two clubs in my mind. Mm. But here we go, back to live shots. There's the two youngsters, stroke man Carl Sutherland. And uh, we haven't seen much of Loch Lomans, but uh, we do get a look at them. Andy Mortimer in the stroke seat. He is a Scottish Island Peaks fell runner. We'll see that shortly. Um, there he is, you can see him there, represented Scotland at the Home International Championships. He's a mechanical engineer and he's worked with turbines in Sweden, Jordan and Pakistan. This is where you see a technical difference, isn't it? The rate is higher, they're taking more strokes per minute in the Scottish crew, but they're not able to match the speed per stroke of the Harvard lightweights. They're just a little sharper onto it, a little longer as a result, a little more efficient. And so the Scottish crew are putting so much effort in and we can see them there. I mean, working well together, but the precision required to increase the speed of that boat, it means they need to just sharpen up those catches further. They need a slightly longer stroke. And uh, at the moment, they can't see their opposition. Yeah, these lads from Scotland have been together since March. They had a decent winning streak up until the Marlow Regatta. Uh, but I've really enjoyed the season. And this is going to be, I guess, the climax of the season. Loch Lomond, very small banks, on a uh, very small club on the banks of the Bonnie Lock. And uh, this linked up with the bigger Clydesdale club, obviously on the River Clyde, where they got about 5K. But it is Union Nautique de Bruxelles who dominated this race and who will go through to the next round of the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup. Clydesdale, ARC and Loch Lomond Rowing Club come in across the line. And Prince of Wales, Heat, Nautique de Bruxelles beat Clyde and Loch Lomond. <laughs> 